Hey guys, how y'all doing? Uh, uh, unbelievable, unbelievable how the NFL just hits you at times when you don't ever expect it. Um, Joe Flacco goes to Denver. This this hits home for me because I am the biggest Drew Locke guy uh, this side of the Mississippi. Drew Locke to Denver was just an absolutely perfect scenario to replace Case Keenum immediately. And um, I'm a little sad because I don't know if Drew Locke is going to get his opportunity now in Denver. The fact is now is that Denver is again banking on a free agent quarterback to come on in here. And Denver was very interested in hiring John Harbaugh or trading even for John Harbaugh. So the fact now that they're deciding to go with a free agent quarterback and Joe Flacco, they are clearly in win now mode. I don't hate it because if the Denver Broncos did not get Drew Locke, if they didn't get Drew Locke, then the NFL draft would be a disappointment and they're also not giving up assets. However, if Drew Locke is there at number 10, he could potentially be the franchise quarterback for the Denver Broncos after. But now you have Vic Fangio, you have a defensive head coach, the coordinator, Scar Masello from San Francisco, if he's successful, he is going to be leaving. So Joe Flacco, he's not a complete failure. I think that Joe Flacco, that they did this now, I'm lukewarm. I don't think I hate it. I'm not necessarily sure I love it. Drew Law, or, or excuse me, Joe Flacco in the Denver cold, he is going to be an upgrade over Case Keenum. You are going to have big play potential. He's going to be, he's a good quarterback with Phillip Lindsay. He's now going to be able to throw it up to Cortland Sutton. He's going to be able to stretch the field with Emmanuel Sanders and Deshaun Hamilton. And now Jake Butt and these other players that Denver has, I think it could be very good. You also look at Jared Valdair, the offense, the, the right tackle who is now leaving Denver. Maybe Denver just decides to go with Dalton Reisner at the 10th overall pick. Or maybe the Denver Broncos decide, excuse me. Maybe Denver decides to go with a great cornerback like a DeAndre Baker at number 10 or a Greedy Williams, and that's probably what they will do because Bradley Roby has been a disappointment and Roby will be gone. For Drew Locke, I mean, he might have to sit behind Joe Flacco for about two years, but Vic Fangio is a 60-year-old head coach and he wants to win now. So just thinking about the psychology, John Elway had to give up his Drew Locke love for this move. Could Drew Locke potentially be drafted by Denver? It still could happen. The fascinating thing to me would be if, if, if uh, the Jacksonville Jaguars signed Nick Foles, then the Giants are really the only team that would probably be interested in a quarterback early in the draft the New York Giants. So then Tampa Bay, Oakland, these teams wouldn't have a lot of leverage at all. So now the quarterback carousel goes back even further. If the Dolphins do not take Kyler Murray, if they play it safe with Brian Flores, their head coach, there's going to be a Drew Locke or somebody or a Daniel Jones in the second round going really far back. But it shakes up every mock draft that had Drew Locke going to the Denver Broncos. If you could have Drew Locke or Joe Flacco, it's Drew Locke because Drew Locke is a guy that's very similar to Joe Flacco in terms of how he can throw the ball for miles, in terms of big arms, in terms of a guy that's young and can lead your franchise. Joe Flacco is a guy that's going to be around for about four years. Flacco's play deteriorated when he was with Baltimore. But the fact is, I think Denver has a better scheme. I think that Denver watched his tape and Joe Flacco is a functioning quarterback with playoff success and it's not a terrible, terrible move. If they missed out on Drew Locke and Joe Flacco, they're screwed. So in fact, Denver's taking the initiative to get the heck away from Case Keenum and open up this up for Joe Flacco. It is not a terrible decision at all. And if I'm number 10, 
I'm taking Drew Locke if I'm the Denver Broncos as well. I'm doubling down because if you want to address the quarterback position in the future, you're not going to get a better quarterback prospect than Drew Locke, especially with Joe Flacco rolling right now. So Case Keenum, he might be cut. He's way too much money. That was a big, big mistake by the Denver Broncos last year. It was a huge mistake, and they cut their losses immediately. So Keenum is completely gone, and I don't think Broncos fans are upset. If we're looking at this in a vacuum, Joe Flacco versus Case Keenum, Joe Flacco is a million times better, and Joe Flacco has a lot of playoff wins. He went to Pittsburgh and won, and of course, on his famous Baltimore Ravens Super Bowl run, he had an 80-yard pass over Raheem Moore's head to, to um, Jacoby Jones for the game-tying score, and he beat Peyton Manning in a shootout en route to the Ravens winning a Super Bowl championship. I look at Flacco as a functioning quarterback. I don't think he's trash like a lot of people were saying. I think he needed a change of scenery, and Denver is perfect for him. Very mature football team, a team ready to win. The altitude of Denver, I think this is a great move for Joe Flacco, one that he will absolutely love. And I think Joe Flacco has time in the tank. I think he still has play left in the tank. I think that this is a brilliant, brilliant move, actually. I think it's a good move. Of course, we want Drew Locke. We want Drew Locke over freaking Flacco. But Flacco to Denver now? Now you're a respected playoff team and Flacco is clutch in the playoffs. Flacco is clutch at the end of the regular season. I like it a hell of a lot. Because if you weren't getting Drew Locke, they're not drafting Kyler Murray. Dwayne Haskins is way too young, way too young to go to Denver and take over in that locker room and in that setting. So there's only one guy I would have taken, and that's Drew Locke. And by the way, you can do it at the NFL draft as well. You stay at 10, and you take Drew Locke if he slips to you, and you get your quarterback of the future, and Joe Flacco will groom Drew Locke just like Lamar Jackson that can very well happen. So in all honesty, if I'm Denver, I'm happy right now. Because no matter what, if Drew Locke is taken earlier, you're not giving up any picks anymore. And now nobody thinks you're going to take Drew Locke. So Drew Locke could be going to Denver. And I still think that that's going to happen. And it will be brilliant. Because then you'd have Joe Flacco. And after two years then, you could sign Locke to a cheap deal and just roll with the young kid roll with the young kid and you could always trade Joe Flacco just like the Ravens traded um, Joe Flacco I believe now that they're going to renegotiate this deal and it's going to be even even better guys oh boy oh boy Big time moves in the NFL. Jeez, and I have to go. I, of course, would I like my number going out to everybody? I'm not sure about that. So, listen. Take care, guys. I was just about done anyway. No big deal. Crazy news today.